Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video I wanted to bring you a quick look at OXO2 for jailbroken iOS devices. You can pick this up for $4 in Cydia. It's $2 if you've purchased the original OXO, so it's a $2 upgrade. So what this tweak allows you to do is change your entire the entire way that you interact with your multitasking switcher as well as your control center. So you can see that if I just slide up from the bottom middle, it'll bring up OXO2. You have your typical control center, or excuse me, multitasking layout here. If you want to go into an app, you could slide down on one. Or if you want to close it out, just slide up on it like you normally would. Now if you slide up on the home screen one here, you'll have the option to close all of your apps, as you see there. So I'm just going to go back and open a few. Now, when you open an app, you could actually slide up from the bottom right corner of your screen, and it will act as your home button and close the application. Now, if you do it from the bottom left of your screen, you'll get access to the applications that you have in the background. So let me go ahead and open up a few more real quick. So now that I opened up a few more apps, you can see that we have a wide variety of selections here. So these are all of the apps that I have backgrounded that you could easily switch to like that. Of course, you could just go to the traditional multitasking area here and go to whichever one you like. Or if, if you want to go to something quicker from the bottom left, instead of having to bring up this interface, scrolling through the screenshots, you can just use this and use the icons to figure out which one you want to go to quickly, like so. So if I want to go to the mail one right there, if I want to go to weather, right there pretty quick and easy and again you could use the bottom right gesture to close the app and here is the area again of course like I said you do have your brightness adjustment here as well as your volume slider there you have some multimedia controls you have your control center toggles at the top I'm using CC toggles and those work just fine with OXO too so this is the typical layout and selection of toggles that I happen to use now let me go ahead and show you some media playback options as well. There are a few things here to take a look at. So we'll just pick a random song like this one, and we will go ahead and close the music app, bring up the OXO2 interface, and here you can see that the four application buttons at the bottom have been replaced by the timeline for the song, as well as the artist, album, and title of the song. Now if you actually tap on it, it'll pull up the album art, and if you swipe left, It'll go to the next song on your list, swipe to the right, and it will go back, as you see there. So it's a nice way to interact with your music in your control center area. Oh, just notice that, so if you swipe up from the bottom, it'll bring your four app controls or quick apps here. You can slide them down and it will show the timeline for the song again. Then you can just tap on the title, album art will go away, Then you can continue to interact with your apps, like so. Let's go ahead and put that one away, and let's take a look at some of the options for OXO2. So here they are. Very clean layout for options, it gives you information on everything as well. You do have some advanced options, and for the most part, that's pretty much it. It's a fairly straightforward tweak. There are a lot of small things here and there to consider and take a look at. So that was OXO2 available for four bucks in the Big Boss repo if you don't already have it. If you have the original version, it's only two dollars to upgrade. And that's pretty much it with this video. So if you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.